Hello everybody, it's Adam here at Dyson Race Supplies again uh, with another quick tutorial video for you. What we're going to do in this one is we're going to look at the polymer tote bags. So, these little things. So, ideally, what you'd do is you'd use a bigger press for this, but in this video I'm going to show you how you can get away with doing it in an A4 press. You will need a few other things. So, the first thing you're going to need is a printer. We're going to use the Epson F100 sublimation printer here, and that will let you produce your die sub transfer. So, as you can see, that's mirrored. Um, so it looks right when it's on the bag. You're also going to need the tote bag. So these come in a different, couple of different colours um, and they're really, really nice once they're printed. So now that um, you've got all your stuff together, what we're going to need to do first is tape the transfer to the surface of the bag. So I'm going to bring these in close, we're going to drop down from the top and I'm going to show you how we do that. Okay, so when it comes to taping down your blank, there's a few things to remember. What you might find is you might have, um, because of the way they've been packed or whatever, there might be some rather large creases in. Little bits like that will be okay, but if there are big creases in them, what you can do is put the blank through your press um, just to iron it out a bit before you apply your transfer. So the next thing you're going to want to do is line up your transfer. So we're going to look at kind of going in the middle with this one. Obviously, it depends where you want to put it, but you want to put the print face down, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to take some heat tape and I like to just tape the corners. Once you've got it nice and square and that will just stop the transfer bouncing when the when it's in the press. So if it does bounce you can find you get a little bit of ghosting, it might resublimate in a different place. But if we tape it down nice and firm like that, we're not going to have that problem. Right, so the transfer is uh, now taped to the tote bag, so we need to get the times and temperatures right in the press. So to do this, we're going to just drop that out of the way. We're going to click the set button. Um, yep, yeah, we're on 180, which is exactly where we want to be for these bags. That's degrees C, obviously. And on the time, we want to go down to 70 seconds. Oh, too far past it. And 70 seconds. There we go. We'll let that press get up to temperature, and then we will get the bag in. The press is now nicely up to temperature. What we're going to do is we're going to get the blank in. So like I said at the start of the video, ideally you want an A3 size press to do these blanks, but you can get away with, do, with doing them on one of these little A4 hobby presses provided your print isn't any bigger than that. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to line the print up and tuck the back of the bag down the back of the press like that. So as long as that print is on your heat platen, it's going to be covered by the, the top platen that should press absolutely fine, okay? So we've got this set to a sort of medium pressure. Um, obviously we just adjust it by the knob there. And we're just gonna close, oh, no, we're not gonna close that down, and I often do this. Best bet is to put a bit of baking parchment on top. What that's gonna do is it's gonna stop any ink coming back onto your heat platen, which may then transfer on the next thing you do and the next thing you do. So just having a bit of baking paper, or some people use a Teflon sheet, or whatever you've got, just over the top of that to use as kind of like a release liner. And then we're just gonna grab the press, Close it down and wait for the timer to stop. Okay, so this press is nearly done doing its thing, so we're just going to wait until it beeps. Now what we're going to do is lift the platen. I like to do that gently just to make sure it doesn't bounce. Take your release liner off and then you want to get your print off your, off your blank as quickly as possible. And as you can see that's printed on. All right, guys, and there we go. It is that easy to start putting together some personalized tote bags uh, for yourselves, even if you're using a little A4 heat press like this one. So all the things I've used in this video um, are going to be available on our website. You can check those in the links in the description below. Also, stick with the channel because we've got loads of tutorials coming out going forward that's going to help you guys get the most out of the equipment and the blanks that we provide.